Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News and it is April 15th, Tuesday. There was an earthquake yesterday near Alton, uh, New Hampshire. This location does experience frequent and generally minor seismic activity consistent with the state's low earthquake frequency. The most re recent notable earthquake was a magnitude 2.0 earthquake yesterday at 4.44 p.m. local time. Its epicenter was about 5 kilometers south or about 3 miles south of Alton and Belk Knapp County at a shallow, shallow depth of about 3.1 miles or 5 kilometers. This quake was reportedly felt by some nearby residents, causing no damage. 22 people sent in reports to USGS that they felt it. They gave it an intensity level of 4. Here we have a report way down by Concord, but all the reports were intensity level 2, other than this one for intensity level 3. And that was about 10 kilometers from the epicenter, which would be about 6 miles. This other report about 23 miles or 37 kilometers near Concord. Yeah, one report intensity level 2. Now, intensity level means it felt like a magnitude 3 to those that reported. And they always downgrade these earthquakes. Um, felt indoors by many, outdoors by a few. At night, some may have been woken up. Dishes and windows doors were rattling. Automobiles would have rocked noticeably. Now, New Hampshire averages about 14.6 earthquakes per year, mostly below a magnitude 3. Since 2024, the state has recorded 22 earthquakes, with 7 at a magnitude 3 or above, 8 between uh, a 2.0 and a 3.0, and 7 below a magnitude 2.0. The strongest um, since 2024 was a magnitude 3.8 in the North Atlantic Ocean near New Hampshire on January 27, 2025. Alton specifically sees few earthquakes and the April 25th event being the most recent significant one. Now back in 1863, they had what was probably the largest earthquake there in New Hampshire. And that would be up. Let's see, where is it? All right, I found it right there. Let me take the roads off of this. This was between a magnitude 6.0 and a 7.0, making it the largest earthquake on record in New Hampshire and New England. And the second strongest in northeastern North America after the 1663 um, Charlotte Vaux earthquake. I don't think I have that one on here. Now, uh, New Hampshire also had an earthquake in 1940, a magnitude 5.6 on December 20th and through the 24th. Yeah, and they got ancient volcanoes in this location. I got it circled here. Yeah, it's a... Uh, this is actually the uh, outside rim of an ancient volcano. Now, the 1940 earthquake uh, caused minor damage, cracked plaster, and falling chimney, chimneys, excuse me, suggesting large quakes could occur roughly every 15 to 20 years uh, for a magnitude 4 plus event. People need to be prepared. They need to uh, yeah, have supplies. Uh, first aid kits, fire extinguishers, um, yeah, different things, food, water, etc. There was also a three-point earthquake on January 27th of this year off the coast of Portsmouth, um, about 40 miles from Alton. Um, it was felt widely across New Hampshire, including Alton, but caused no damage, um, but promoted temporary suspension of operations at the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard for evaluation. And that was down over here. Right there. Yeah, they shut down the um, yeah operations there at the naval base until they made sure everything was okay. Interesting. 
two smaller aftershocks occurred a magnitude 2.0 on January 29th and February 2nd yeah in the same location I only have one uh, marked here experts are now saying that New Hampshire could be due for a significant earthquake a magnitude 5 point or larger possibly along the fault from the lakes region to Concord I've talked about this because of all the uh, recent earthquakes that have been happening up there in Iceland and how the uh, um, plate was moving going west so I was concerned about yeah this location right here having a, a significantly large earthquake so they seem to agree with what I was saying so you need to have a plan you need to be prepared uh, know what you're gonna do if you're separated from loved ones during an earthquake or any other type of major disaster yes the earthquakes around the world are increasing someone made a comment on one of my videos that that needs to be mentioned and I have multiple times so anyways did you feel this recent earthquake I would like to know how long it lasted what did the motion feel like uh, what was your reaction how did your pets react um, how did you react now they're telling people nowadays if you have a large earthquake do not get in the doorways mostly because doorways often have doors and if it's a large earthquake it could swing and break your arm or yeah you know, break fingers or even chop off fingers so find something else sturdy to get under not the doorways thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.